good morning children i hope still you are praying your moral science teachers will give more instructions to pray last class we have seen page formatting today we are going to see is page background to make a page visually interesting you can add color border and also watermarks to it let us see the first point changing the page color you see by default the page color is white how we can change the color go to design tab but which i am showing the it is in page layout tab as i told it is depend on the version which you are using when i ask the question steps to insert page color so you have to give the answer from your textbook unfortunately i installed another version of ms office so in that one there is a page layout tab and group is same page background and here you see page color you see here page color is in blur why it is because i want to select that full page then it appear clearly page color click here and you select which color you want see here different colors you can give if it is a color printer then this background also print as this color if it is black and white printer then only black and white second one apply page borders design tab but here page layout tab page background and page borders why it is blur now again select all that page and page borders there are different types of page borders color which color you want okay so i am giving black color and how much width you need the thick one or instead of line which one you want okay apple or something yes yeah, see here the preview when i click here okay look the page here the changes see border again you have to change means select the page page border and you can change another one only line is needed so this line you take then you click on any style here so like this style click on okay see third one is watermarks watermark is a text picture placed behind the document text it remains fixed in the background and does not move with the text it will also be seen on the print out it is mainly used to mark special pages when i sent the question answer of each chapters you have seen don bosco behind the text how we will add design tab page background group watermark and select any one see here do not copy see behind again you go the you will get custom watermark that means you don't want do not copy you type the don bosco then the style which style you want any style you select the size bigger smaller size you can select now if you want again custom watermark you want to give not the text you want to give a picture click picture select any one and insert and click on apply now you see here background that picture is inserted or you don't want any types of watermarks click here no watermark i hope it is clear next point inserting a cover page a cover page introduces the document seeing the cover page of the book you will select the books from library is it yes it contains some titles images class or chapter very important things how we can insert a cover page go to insert tab 
pages group and look here cover page click on cover page again ms office is given different templates samples any one you can select so here this is the cover page and this is the second page if you want to change you can type the company name anything you can edit next one is header and footer a header is the name given to the text that is printed very important underline it at the top of each page in the top margin in the top margin underline then what is a footer it is a text printed at the bottom of each page in the bottom margin in the bottom margin how we can do just you double click on the margin then it will appear here anything is there you can type this is the header this is the footer what is the steps go to insert tab header and footer group header again templates are given there you can select any one if you want footer and insert header and footer footer also now in the header and footer you want to add date and time so what you will do click on insert tab header and footer then header or footer any one select and edit footer then you will get another one design in that one there is a insert group date and time click on date and time see page number 47 figure 3.30 there are different way you can insert date time everything so you can select any date or time suppose you want to add the present what is the present time 9:56 pm 12:14 2020 so if you click on automatically update then the present time will be printed there so i am selecting monday december 14 then click on okay now see here monday that date time everything will display there now again in the header and footer you want to add a page number so how it is again click on insert tab header and footer so in the header i am giving page number edit header then here you see page number again where you want page number top left right middle or bottom left right middle and all page margin so inside so where you want you can edit so i am giving in the middle top middle see here page number 2 page number 3 this is the page number 1 page no why it is not there page number 1 because this is a cover page then page number 2 3 4 it is going on there how to get out of the header and footer press which key escape key and today's last point is print a document how we can print go to file and there is a print option before taking print you have to see print preview look here print preview how each page will printed in the paper then if you want just select print in the print dialog box there are many option first one is name of the printer which printer you connected that one you can select page range you want to print all pages or current page current page means where there is a cursor then pages the detailed information they have given downside suppose you want to print one and two pages so what you will do one comma comma two suppose you want one to 10 pages so what what you will do one hyphen 10 next if you want 1 to 5 pages 1 to 5th page and 10th page so what you will do 1 hyphen 5 comma 10 
first, fifth, and tenth. So what you will do? One, comma, five, comma, ten. So there are different ways you can print the range also. The very important is collat option. What is a collat option? Page number fifty. You must learn what is a collat option. If you give number of copies one, two, three, four, five. Okay. How many copies you need for each page? If collat option is selected, then the word will print the complete set of page one, two, three. That means this. How many pages are there? Ten pages. So one to ten page will print. Then again, second set one to ten. Then third set one to ten. Fourth set one to ten. Fifth set one to ten. If collate option is not selected, look here. Then first page ten times. Second page ten times. Third page ten times. I hope it is clear. friends i am concluding this chapter next week we will start a new chapter understand the situation and help your parents thank you